your girl Shayla T and welcome back to another video. So do you shop at Costco and you want to know how you can like save money or you don't have a membership and you still want to shop at Costco or you just want to have some overall hacks while going to Costco? Stay tuned because I'm going to give you five Costco hacks that will save your life. jump right into it so the first Costco hack that I have today is like a big one shopping without a membership do you know that you can shop at Costco without a membership <laughs> oh my god wow do you well if you didn't I am here to share how you can do that so a membership at Costco probably depending on where you at is around 50 60 bucks you want to go like VIP platinum it's gonna cost you about a hundred bucks but you can shop at Costco without a membership let me tell you how so what you can use is a Costco cash card so what that is it's just like a gift card it ranges from ten dollars all the way to a hundred bucks so you do have to be a member to buy one but not to use it. You can get anyone to buy you a Costco cash card and you can still use it without being a member. So tell your grandma, your mom, your cousins, your sisters, hey, I want a Costco cash card. And that's also a good gift to give someone for like a birthday or something because you don't have to be a member to spend that money. In 12 states, it is illegal to require a membership to buy alcohol. So if you're in the lucky 12 states, you can go into Costco and buy alcohol without a membership. So if you are in Arizona, California, Connecticut, Delaware, Hawaii, Indiana, Massachusetts, I have a hard time saying that, Michigan, Minnesota, New York, Texas, Vermont, you don't need a membership. You can go in there and buy any alcohol product that you want, okay? But let me just tell you an FYI with that one. Most employees don't even realize in those states, so only in those states, that you can buy alcohol without a membership. So, you may be going into some tricky, murky waters. There. Expect that you'll need to check in with the manager before you can buy your alcohol. Instacart and other similar grocery delivery services will usually let you get Costco groceries delivered, even if you're not a member so check that out in your local area or whatever instacart uh i don't know there's a plenty of them where you there's shopping delivery services and usually they'll let you get it without a membership i know someone who did another thing you do not need a membership to shop at the pharmacy so if you have a lot of medications or anything you need costco has usually really really good deal you can always utilize the pharmacy without a membership second hack or a good piece of information is the best products are usually located in the middle of the store. So I know when you're first walking into Costco, it looks like you have good deal. I am so guilty. I'm usually always like, ooh, 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 ooh. As soon as I walk into Costco, I see something that I need and I'm like, oh, that's a good deal. Boom, I want it. But the best deals are in the middle of the store. Every Costco has a similar layout. So in that middle of the store, that's where you can find the best deal. So next time you're at Costco, go straight to the middle and see what good deals you find. Okay, so number three, this one is really important. Pricing. So the asterisks on the tag in the upper right hand corner, especially on a sale item, usually means that item is not going to be restocked. So the price that you see is likely the lowest price that the item will be priced at. Also, another thing to keep in mind is things ending in 0.88, so 88 cents, it's usually the best deal that you can get on that product. Also, if it ends in 97 cents, that's also a really good deal. So I know it's not like us to look at the tag. I mean, you just throw it in the bag, right? You add it up later, right? No, so make sure you're checking out that tag. Remember, if it's 88 cents, that's the 
best deal. If it is a 97 cents, that's a really good deal as well. Number four. Okay, so this hack, if you are a Costco shopper like myself, you probably already know this, but I'm just gonna let you know again. Many of Costco's store brand products, so they're usually under the Kirkland signature, are nearly identical to or better than other brands. For example, Kirkland brand vodka is made from the same water source as Grey Goose. So if you are into alcohol or those things, Grey Goose is going to be significantly higher than Kirkland's vodka, but it's the same. So number five, and this is going to be my last hack, is warehouse days. Most people shop on the weekend, but there are days during the week that you get even bigger discounts. So they have sale cycles and the cycle usually will start on like a Thursday and run usually from two and a half to three weeks. So what that means, that leaves about one to two weeks that they're having no sales, like none. So you don't wanna go when they're not having sales that month. You wanna make sure you go when they are having that sale for the month because this will give you savings on top of the discounts. And if you are a mom or you have a household or you have a business, whatever you have where you are utilizing Costco, you know this is important to always save as much as you can. So those are the five hacks that I have that will benefit you while shopping at Costco. Do you know about any of these hacks? Tell me what's your favorite hack because when it's time to shop, you need to always make sure you're getting enough bang for your buck. So let me know in the comment section below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and then hit the bell. You can be notification gang. And I am out.